I had a mother and a younger brother that uh, I wouldn't leave to go away to school. So I was very fortunate that with one of the fellow graduates who picked me up every morning, we shared expenses for gas, and uh, like I said, I would not have been able to go to school were it not for that. I had uh, done some work when I lived in New Jersey. I, got, I had completed four years of an eight-year course in New Jersey, and then I got advanced credit at DIT, and uh, it was a way to get, get a better job, make more money, help out my family. When I first got out of the service, I called the school. They had started school already, about a week. And I ended up in Dr. Boo's office, and he made out my schedule for the year. And it was the best schedule I ever had. I was told by the graduate advisor that there is an opening at DIT. DIT did not respond to me. I had only $5 left, and took my car, went into the Grand Circus Park, fell into the dean's office and began to yell, why don't you respond to me? The dean came out and he said, come on in, I talk with you. And he talked with me several hours. And after, the, after this day, the next day, I arrived in America, first time after four years, five years of studying, with $4,800 of starting salary. It was heaven, it was a metropolis, and DIT served an exceedingly good purpose in it. I was in the choral group, so we, we did a lot of singing at, at different venues for the school. And I think, uh, I, didn't, I wasn't a sportsman, but I, I really enjoyed the chorale that we were in. And we did, we did special programs for, for uh, certain holidays. And I, I remember Christmas as one of the, the big ones and we learned a lot of great songs. I got lots of best memories, but uh, in high school I was very calm and quiet. I didn't do much, but in high school, my English teacher, June Henderson, came up to me and asked me if I'd like to work on the newspaper. And I wasn't sure what to say. I'd never been asked such a question before, or anything to join anything. And I said, well, yeah, I'll give it a try. And that started my involvement with DIT and eventually worked from reporter up to news editor and had just have lots of good memories of her and a lot of the other professors. We would have um, parties there uh, on the weekend, so that was a fun time. We had some people that were DJs within our group, so we were able to play the latest music at that time. I can't quote the music now, but you know, it was vintage, Motown, somewhere in that era. I belong to fraternity, Alpha Gamma Epsilon. I mean, I love my fraternity brothers. When we were in the student union, most of the time we sit down and play ping pong. Uh, we, we had a, a, a Michigan champ ping pong player. His name was Binky. And he would tear up everybody playing ping pong. I just graduated from high school. I started at DIT. They had a special program there for minority students. Um, I joined an organization there called the Organization of Concerned Black Students. We looked at the issues that were going on um, surrounding minorities. We learned a lot about um, college at that time. We learned uh, a lot about people skills. We learned, we went to classes. It was a lot of fun. Well, I was part of the um, Black Engineer Society, and so we always had a study group. And it's just always the wonderful chemistry of that group and the society and the meetings and, and getting through school. It, it was just a small, unique um, campus with very well-bonded friendships. The man that gave me the scholarship for four years that included my tuition and my books introduced me to a pharmacist that I worked for for two years and then bought a store with him uh, two months before I finished pharmacy school until his death 20 years later. There were about maybe eight of us and from all places in, in uh, Detroit and we all wanted to work in the laboratory in some aspect of the laboratory but we became real good friends as well so we would go out socially and do things together and study together and test each other. Our instructors 
were professional people. They were not just uh, educators, but they were actually working and uh, experiencing what they were teaching us at the same time. And, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, English was not my favorite class until I took a English uh, composition class during the summer. And the best part of that was is I got a brand new PhD out of school who taught me how to write. As I remember my statistics instructor, Dr. Kessel, uh, I enjoyed that class because he was a very good presenter. I learned a lot. My uh, professor for statistics and I thought that was the hardest class I had to take. And he was, I mean, he was a genius. I think he was like 26 years old. Uh, Mr. Uh, Kubiak, you know, I probably, I probably had him out, uh, so I majored in accounting, I probably had him out of like maybe four or five, maybe six classes. And, uh, and the reason I, I, I mentioned him, because I realized he was like a, a uh, mentor of mine. There was a gentleman in the uh, business uh, curriculum. I remember that he, conducted his classes as if they were a boardroom in business. The kindly Mr. Andrasik, I'll never forget him, and all the education and training and practice sessions that we had helped me quite a bit when I was in the laboratory in Ann Arbor. There was a chemistry uh, teacher, I think her name was Nebels, was her last name. I wasn't good at chemistry, but she was just a good teacher. Everything I did in engineering paid off because, not just the money, but because it taught us how to critically think and how to analyze and to distinguish and to evaluate. That's what the math was about. The math wasn't about being quaint nerds. The math was about the ability to do deductive reasoning on a dime. I think I got a good education, more practical education than maybe some of the other schools that do research. I believe in education. I believe in Detroit Tech LIT because students like myself had no background of going out and developing things because I was a foreign student. But the connection with the fraternities and the social programs kept me involved. My fraternity friends and my student friends, I see them quite often. DIT to me means that Detroit will stay and it will flourish in the future again. This would be a, an experience, a uh, time to see old friends, classmates, and I think that if you're able to come, you should participate. I'm glad now that the, uh, Lawrence Institute of Technology is picking us up and <laughs> kind of like, uh, be in our, our, our school. I'm happy to be here at the DIT reunion. Wish you were all here. We're having a good time. 